Good afternoon, Wax and Tartans back with another video. This one is, as the title suggests, up there, or down there actually, um, sunglasses. Now over the past couple of weeks I've been pretty obsessive over Wayfarers um, and other Ray-Ban models. Um, so I just thought I want to go through and with my Ray-Ban collection, and it's only small, it's only humble, but it is growing, and just go through each piece by piece. So I first saw um, the Wayfarer in uh, Blues Brothers when I was a kid, but I just thought they were black sunglasses because they are the most commonly, or one of the most iconic and most commonly copied sunglasses of all time. You see them everywhere, you see the shape, you see copies here and there. You can find them for $1.99 in Primark sort of thing. So I, I didn't really think anything of it. That was until I was, I think I was about 18, 19. Um, I was in the middle of London. I was doing some work up there and I saw somebody wearing a pair of light tortoise, what I now know is light tortoise shell Wayfarers, the uh, 2140s made by Luxottica. And I fell in love with those things because I just thought, what is that tilt? Those sunglasses that come off your face and go back in like that. Just ridiculous. So I knew they were Ray-Ban, obviously Ray-Bans are a massive thing, everyone knows the name. But it wasn't until later on where I really, when I started discovering more and more about the brand is that they're what they were, they're Wayfarers, they're 2140, the sizes, etc. So fast forward, I got a, um, had a friend give me a pair of white 2140s. They were the white outline outside with the black inside. I thought they were great, I really liked them at the time. Um, but I think that was sort of the early 2010s, so white sunglasses were very in fashion at that point. I quickly outgrew the style of those. Uh, white sunglasses weren't really my thing um, after a few months, so I sold those and decided to start saving for a pair of the tortoiseshell Wayfarers. My girlfriend, she got there first and bought me a pair, which are in here. My first pair of my Grail Wayfarers, tortoiseshell Wayfarers are just elite, I'm sorry. And the black ones are cool, but the tortoiseshell ones, I don't care what color, tortoiseshell are just insane. So these are them. Some of you have seen, they're a bit worse for wear and they are completely unwearable. They are retired. This actually decides to work. No, it does not decide to work. This is just great. Anyway. Um, so these have had three lens changes, actually two lens changes. So the original pair of lenses, uh, replacement polarized, and another pair of replacement polarized, along with multiple hinge changes. So these ones I wore constantly through from 2013 to I think 2000 and 18, 19, before they, actually no, 2020, 2020 is when they finally gave in. So nearly two years ago, they finally gave in after multiple hinge changes. You can see, they're just, I love that blue though with the polarized Ray-Ban wearing flares. Oh, so cool. But these things were great. So I didn't buy another pair of Wayfarers or Ray-Ban for a while after that. I just thought of, I had a pair of the tortoise shell, Paul Smith Jameson's, which are a round, Clubmaster round style. Uh, those were cool, but they just weren't cool enough. So I thought, right, I still have them. I still have them, they're cool. Um, but I bought another pair as a replacement. Uh, these ones, I haven't changed the lenses out. I just thought there's no point. Um, I bought these off of Depop for about 12 pounds. So, why not? Um, yeah, they're fantastic. They fit my wonky face perfectly. That tilt is just, nothing can beat that. They're the kings, the wayfarers are the kings. They've been doing it since 1950s. I, I don't care what anyone else says. Wayfarers are the best sunglasses ever made and ever will be made. I don't care if they are B&L or if they're Luxottica made, they're the coolest. So these are the 2140s and light tortoise. Same as my other pair. Size 50, 22s, standard size, perfect size. I think these are the only way, I think Wayfarers are the only Ray-Ban now so to be handmade. 
and I think all the rest are machine made with plastic lenses, whereas these still have glass lenses. I know the aviators still do, I think the Clubmasters might do, but I don't know if they're handmade as they say these are. So even Ray-Ban themselves deem these the best. So I got these, and then I bought some aviators. I think it's from the same seller actually, I think they had both pairs up. Didn't like the fact that the Ray-Ban signature was coming off, so I just took some nail polish remover and just went ahead and removed it. A bit more of a vintage 80s feel. So these are a size 58, I believe. Um, these are the Aviator Large Metal. Um, fading a bit, they're worn out, but that's fine. These are just a beta pair. I love how they sit on the face. They are just cool. And of course, they are the most famous sunglasses, uh, thanks due to Top Gun, which we can't wait for the film to come out. Miko and I are just buzzing. So if you see Miko and I at the Top Gun premiere in our aviators and uh, G1s, we, we're not apologizing for anything. We're going there full kit, it's gonna be great. So these are the aviators. Um, I don't really wear these anymore, just for the fact they have a, you can see right here, a big scuff on the lens. But again, because for the price I managed to get them at, I don't really care. Um, plus also, what's in here? Save that for later. That's that's pretty pretty mad. So these don't, I don't really mind anymore about these. So these are my aviators. I did have another pair in um, a smaller size but I gave those to my mum today actually. Um, thought she might want them, so good son award. So now down to the one pair of aviators. And then I thought, right, I need some vintage in my life. People going on about um, B&L, Bush and Lom, Bausch and Lom, whatever, however you meant to say it. Um, and I really wanted some. So I went hunting for some um, and couldn't find any for a while that were a good price. You know me, I like to get things cheaper. I like to, I like the hunt. I don't want to just, I can go on eBay and buy a pair of new old stock, 1960s Wayfarers for just a shy of a thousand pounds. That's not, that's good, but it's not fun for me. I like hunting these deals and I like hunting. I just, I just like, it's the thrill of the hunt for me. So I was in a local luxury consignment store and they had these, they had these in there. I don't think these are the original, this is the original case. Um, I think these are the Ray-Ban Orals, Old, Old. I don't know how to pronounce it, Case, but I saw these and I thought, Billy Gibbons has a pair of these. Turns out he doesn't. He wears the Caballeros, not the Decos, but these are a good alternative and for the price I paid, I don't really care. I'll keep those. Um, I do want to move these on at some stage. So as of today, you know, this is 1st of April, 2022, I am looking to sell these to make room for maybe another pair of Clubmasters or something else that I do actually wear because of it's affording otherwise. But this is what they look like on the face. Really cool. Every time I look at these, I just think of Billy Gibbons. And I just want to get my guitar out and just play the grunge. It's so awesome. These are so cool, but I don't wear them, so they are fun. But my first pair of B&Ls, uh, B&L Ray-Ban USA on the right temple and just a deco on the left. Etching on either side, B&Ls. It has a one, two, three, four, five point metal hinge. And they are fantastic. G15, uh, yeah, G15 lenses. Um, and then obviously it's got the B15s naturally. These are my first pair of B&Ls. And then I was in a, uh, a charity shop again, hunting these things down uh, last year. And I was rooting through a certain sunglass bin. I think I like what they call them, bins, or a box full of just sunglasses. So it feels like someone's just thrown a massive box into a bigger box full of sunglasses. So, and these were here. These are, some black Wayfarers, no logo, but BL etching here, Generation 3 Wayfarers. 
this is just awesome. So you can't go wrong with a pair of black Wayfarers. G15 lenses, and I got them for a quid. So that was fun. And don't have the Ray-Ban on the side, don't have the Ray-Ban on here, um, but I just etched BL uh, Ray-Ban USA and Wayfarer. So these are a 5022 sizing, pretty standard. Um, the only thing is they don't have much of a tilt and I was wondering why uh, they didn't have much of a tilt for nearly a year until I found out the other day why. Uh, these should have been, what well, I've been told, the Ray-Ban Wayfarer FE, which is a less of a tilt model. So you can see here, it's all got a tilt, but not much, nothing crazy compared to these. You can see, just turn it around. You can just see, silly cinematic. These just blow the tilts out of the water. You can see here, I'll keep my hand. I mean, they're tilted, but they're not crazy tilted. They're still cool though. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a pair of the standard Wayfarers with the massive tilt but they're awesome. So I've got these, I'm currently polishing these up with some poly watch um, to get that shine back in and they are slowly getting there. So I'll carry on again tonight. So these were my first sort of BL Wayfarers and really kicked off the BNL Wayfarer obsession. I really want more. So I then went on Depop hunting for more uh, recently. And uh, I think I've had a couple of months back now. But I picked up these, these Clubmasters WO365s, gold Ray Ban signature logo on the right lens. Check yeah, BL etch on either side. I'm not going to see it in the sun, there we go. That to me, that gold logo is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So awesome. So these are 1990s, not sure what year, um, but the gold Ray-Ban logo indicates 1990. It doesn't mention anything about being a Clubmaster on the inside, it just has the BL USA and the WO3, WO365 in uh, white paint. That's it. It has a BNL Ray-Ban USA on the bridge. And that's it, there's nothing else. No other text, nothing at all. So these are cool, I like these. They came um, without the case, but they come in this nice velvet pouch, which houses something else entirely. So I've got those, these are really cool. I like these to type of my collection. Um, I've got to say the, Pair of the Wayfarers I gave to my mum, uh, the Aviators I gave to my mum earlier on, it came in this, this small case here, the really thin case. Um, I wanted to give her something a bit more substantial and beefy, so I gave her my other one of these, just standard Ray-Ban cases. Um, so these I use for traveling around in. I mean, they're really good, so I put these in. You can see, just a really nice tight case, the very remnant of the original cases that's why I like it because it's smaller whereas the big one you can see it's just a lot bulkier bigger I don't understand why that's not very protective but I it's something I've asked Ray-Ban to sort out many years ago but they weren't actually looking to change they said so Moving on, finding uh, more Ray-Bans. I was while well, hunting, I'm always sort of having a look here and there. Um, and then coming back from uh, Cambridge the other day from work, I was on just scrolling Facebook Marketplace and I noticed a pair of, it just says Ray-Ban Wayfarer for parts. I was very confused, very five pounds it says. So I was like, I'll take the risk. I could always resell the lenses and make 10. Um, so I messaged the woman, said, can I pick it up? I'll be back in, uh, in town about sort of seven-ish. She said, fine. 
So, I've got these. These are spectacular. Now the arm is a bit cracked here, just by this little, um, I don't know what they're called. These, these little, I don't know what they are. Does anyone know what they are? Rayburn have actually called these things? Those little temple and frame little notches, little pins or whatever they are. But it's a small little crack here, but that's absolutely fine. <laughs> just dusty from the case. So I'll get these fixed up eventually, but how cool are these? So these are a little bit different as well. Like the, uh, the shape of them are a bit rounder compared to say these ones, which I'm assuming from the same era or at least very close to it. These ones just a little bit, they feel a bit more billowy on the frames. I know that they're 50, 24, but it's all 50 inch, uh, 50 mil frames, uh, lenses that way. So the bridge is a little bit wider. So that might be why, I don't know. B&L Ray-Ban USA and Standard Wayfarer here in uh, what I would say is tortoise shell. I don't know if it's dark tortoise shell or light tortoise shell, um, or if that's a, uh, a later thing they brought out. The G15 lenses, and I wanted a pair of tortoise shell with the green lenses to accommodate my current pair. And these are so good. You can see through the sunlight coming in now, just uh, how rich that color is. Excuse my pasty white face, but that's the Scottish skin, I suppose. Here is some phenomenal wayfarers that I have never seen before. The frames themselves are in fantastic condition apart from this. The lenses only have a slight couple of just Standard wear and tear, but I mean, for a pair of sunglasses that came out in the 70s, 80s, I mean, what can you expect? Unless they're new old stock, good luck finding some brand new ones. So here we are. So I've had these a few days, um, and again, I'm polishing these up with some poly watch over time. You can see a nice shine on these coming through. I'm taking my time with these ones purely for the fact of this lens, uh, this frame being a bit rickety, but the hinges are still good, really nice, and I keep these in this little pouch. Um, I use this pouch if I'm just going out, um, and I can just put these in here. But if I'm not going anywhere, if I'm just going for the day, just wear these. I put whatever glasses I am wearing in these this little pouch because I can just put them in my back pocket and it'll be fine. If I'm going out for a weekend, normal case. Um, and these stay in this case and only. I don't put any other glasses in this. This is the original, leave it for that. So that I thought that was it. Um, so I've got these three days or so ago. Um, actually, I've got these Wednesday, two days. Two days I've had these. Um, and then these, I found these today. I wasn't going out looking for sunglasses. Um, I was just in town, pottering around. Saw these in the same consignment store I got these in. Um, my decos, and I saw these a while ago in there, but I didn't like them. I wasn't a too much of a fan with them. And this was like two years, two and a half years ago. So I wasn't really too into the whole Ray-Ban collecting at that point. So I thought, ah, I'm not really too fast, they're nice. But I didn't really think they suited my face, so I left them. And they've been floating around that consignment store for about two and a half years. So I saw them in the window, they are desperately trying to get rid of them. And um, I haven't had a pair of this for these four since 2013. I, I briefly had a pair of aviators. Then I got an eBay, but they were so big. I think they might have been 62 mil. So I had those for a day and then I sold them. Um, I don't know where they went. <laughs> they were crazy, but they were just weren't for me. They had, I can't remember if, can't remember if they had gray lenses or green lenses. I see, I just had them and I got rid of them. So I don't count them as owning. I bought them on eBay, they arrived too big, we sold them straight away. So these ones are in phenomenal condition. The gold is still gold. The green is just so bottle green. Um, there's no um, oxidization on the arms. We can see it just shimmering. And the only thing is someone has manipulated the uh, brow bar here, but 
I quite like that look, that droopiness. Um, but I am at some point going to just get them straightened back out so they can go back to the original look. So these are b and uh, Aviators from the uh, late 80s. I don't know whether to take this Ray-Ban off or not, have it proper Top Gun style. But they fit so well. They look really cool with the droop. Um, I know it's Slider in Top Gun has a pair like this um, with his black when he does this but the inversion. Um, but yeah, these are cool. I might keep them the way they are, but I'm probably am gonna get them straightened out so they look more like these. As you can see, hopefully you can, just the color difference is just ridiculous. They're just so much more vibrant on the older pair and the new pair. The new pair looks really dull next to these. And there's so much more oxidization and everything on these. So these are really good condition. So these are my newest pickups. Luckily, I know the consignment store very, very well. And they gave me a massive discount as they have been kicking around for such a long time. I think it's one of them gone. Original case, which is great because it has the belt loop in the back, which I think is so American. Um, very touristy, pop your belt through there, have them attached to your... <laughs> Your waistband, like this, <laughs> little pouch. These are great uh, cases as well because they have a soft felt lining on the uh, inside where your glasses lenses rub against. Whereas on the new ones, they have a quite a rough, and you can hear that, very rough inside. And these cases, these new cases are absolutely garbage. Look at this, every single time it does this, Whereas the new one, or the old ones, they're just flexible. PVC coated, I think. Plastic on the inside, giving a nice sort of curved look to them. So hopefully you can see that. It follows the shape of the glasses. But yeah, that's enough, of, you know, that's me rabbiting on for 22 minutes about my sunglasses. Um, hopefully you've learned some stuff. Um, I will be going through so maybe some glasses individually at some point, just pointing out some bits here and there. But yes, match the old presidential Casio God tier. This is great, so cool. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is this is just a little video about the my Ray-Ban collection, which is ever growing. Um, I think I have should have a pair of 70s aviators coming shortly. They're from Israel, I'm still waiting on those. And a pair of modern uh, aviators without the frames. Um, give those a go, see how cool those are. Those are look very futuristic. So I'm excited to see what those can do. Um, and if they will stay in the collection or if they'll be resold to someone else. All of those that these ones here are staying in the collection. These are just so cool. I mean, to get a pair of aviators from this era within this condition uh, without spending too much money, it's quite unheard of. So, there we are. But, yeah, anyway, enough rabbiting. Here's my Ray-Ban collection. So, all in all, I have three pairs of Wayfarers, two pairs of aviators, a pair of Clubmasters, and a pair of Deckers. And I am, a and I am looking for more, so. Here we go, Wax and Tartans out. I am off to browse eBay again to get, see if I can get another pair of tortoise shells. Um, I want the dark tortoise shells now. Um, I want the modern ones because I think they just look really slick. So if you've got Wayfarers, Aviators, Clubmasters, whatever it is, share it below. I'd love to hear your collections, um, how big they are um, and what, how rare your pieces are. I'd love to have, let's, get, let's start a discussion in the comments. Um, and it's just a great brand to be behind. I think they're cool. But yeah, here we are, Ray-Ban uh, collection uh, over.